What is it? I don't know what happened to your brother. What happened? He's somewhere at the Moraka Junction. Okay, wait. Just come, let's go. Wait, wait. I'm coming. Mercy, son, no, no. What happened to you? Huh? We threw my brother. How? I, I don't understand you. Even his brother, Ebido, touched him and got infected and died instantly. So, where are they now? Igwe, they had Mbroka Junction there. Okay, I've heard you. You can go. Igwe. <laughs> Is she okay? Yeah. Do you think it is possible? I am short of words. We definitely must find a solution to this. I suggest we take him out of this village. Now, you go with my guards to Uraka. Confirm if it is true. If it is true, then send him out of the land immediately. Igwe! Guards! Igwe! You go with Chieke to Uraka Junction. Take Uturu out of the land. Make sure you do not touch him. I repeat, do not touch him. Yes, Igwe. Yes, Igwe. has just been infected with dangerous disease. And everyone in the community is avoiding him. Mama, please, where is he? Tell me where he is. I want to see it with my own eyes. Why are you asking me where is he? What do you want to do with him? I'm telling you that everyone is avoiding him. You are telling me where is he? Mama, please, I just want to see him. What business do you have with him? Huh? The sickness is so dangerous that it has even killed some people. And you want to go and see him?
right for us. Move, move, move. Move. Go. Move. to the palace saying that Uturu has been infected with a strange disease that is so contagious that it could easily infect one by a mere touch of hand. <sighs> the gods will not allow this to happen. But my king, what could be the cause? I don't know. You know he is a drunk. So I suspect he may have committed one thing or the other that the gods allowed it to infect him. Hmm. Anyway, I, I've sent the guards to take him out of town. Hey. But my king, are you sure the guards won't be infected? I warned them not to get so close to him or touch him. Panting and hurrying home like this. There is problem. Serious problem in the land. There is problem. What is it? Uturu has just been infected with a terrible disease. Serious one for that matter. As I speak with you, his brother touched him and died instantly. What are you saying? <sighs> Was I speaking with food in my mouth? I said the whole community is in shambles. There is a problem. Yeah. Serious one. Oh. Is he aware of this? He <sighs> is away. He has just sent his guards to send Uturu out of the land. Better. To avoid infecting others. <sighs> Kill my husband, Biko. Eh? You have to be careful. This is something dangerous is in this land already. Because if he gets infected now, I'll be the next. Biko. May God forbid. You say. May God forbid. Igwe. Igwe. Igwe, we have sent him out of this village. I hope nobody touched him. We did it. Are you sure he will not return? We are sure. We set him inside the bush. I gave him your order never to return. Good, yes. 
What about his brother's corpse? Igwe, he's still lying there because everyone is afraid to touch him. Um, all right. You go to Ikiri's house now. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Igwe. You go and summon my cabinet members. Tell them to report immediately. Igwe. Igwe. You know, to go close to that uh, corpse. How many times? Huh? Uh, my children, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank may you the God bless you. Jesus! Yeah. Please, I will Joy. take care of her. Mona. Thank you. Okay, did they say you go? Come on, come on. Greetings. Greetings. Uh-huh. Girls of our land. You are welcome. Yes, so Igwe said you should come to the palace now. Yes, of course. Eh? That I should come to the palace now? Not only you, but all the elders. Yes. All the elders. To the palace? What could result to this impromptu gathering? People will explain better. Ah. Mm. Yeah. But have you informed other the other elders? Yes, yes of course. Okay. Ah uh, well, I will be there shortly. Help me! How can I lose my two sons just today? Woman, I don't understand what you are asking me to do for you. I've told you that your son's sickness is contagious. I, I don't want to lose people here in my kingdom. And besides, I have been discussing with my cabinet members. So we're on top of the situation. We will get back to you. Woman, please bear with us. This is a matter of life and death. Oh? I want to carry my son cubs. Please, tell this security to allow me. I have told you that it is not possible. You could easily be infected too. Igwe, I am ready to die with my sons. Woman, just bear with us. Eh? Besides, it's for, it's for the interest of all of us. You go out and leave this place unless you help me. What nonsense is this? Guards! <laughs> Take this woman out of this place. You go, please. <laughs> That corpse must not remain there. As the chief security officer, what do you suggest? What do you think? I don't have anything to say in all these things that are happening in this 
community. I know something is wrong, Igwe. But the security should not be called for it. Ah. Igwe, we are just securities. And not cause evacuators. Can you hear him? I let Igwe take care of it. I want to bury my son. I want to bury my son. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Mama, please stop crying. I'll help you. I'll help you bury your son. But just stop crying. Oh. I want to bury my son. I want to bury my son. Are you going out? Igwe sent for all the elders. I'm going straight to the palace now. Igwe sent for all the elders? Yes. Mm. Nine. I hope it's not because of Uturu's problem. Uturu? Yes, Nine. What happened to him? I don't know where he went to and got infected by a contagious disease. Hey! Yeah, even his brother is lying dead along the road. Hey! What is happening? Eh? What happened to his brothers, too? His brother touched him and died instantly. Eh? Yeah. What kind of a deadly disease could that be? I don't know why. Hey! Well, let me get to the palace first. But, Unai, don't go close to the court. Don't even touch it. Don't go. Don't go close to it, please. Uh -uh. I don't want to die. Why should I touch it? To die? Mbano. Eh? Well, let me go. Okay, now. I will come back. Okay, now. Go where? It's up to for me. I will, Unai. I will go and talk to the Igwe myself. Uh -uh. He should know his boundary. For the fact that his Igwe does not give him the gods to other people around. You're the chief security. Your job is for the safety of the people and not carrying cops. Doesn't he know that you're a young married man? With a young, man, a young wife like me? If you get infected, that means I'll be infected too. I, I know I'm saying all these things so. My wife. My name is Ikiri. Of all the gods created, I am a bad species. I know my boundaries. But you have to be mindful of your words. I mean the way you talk. The Igwe has a lot of power and he can wish you. Yeah. Is it that I married you from another community does not make you different. You still belong here. And if your people don't respect their king, we do here. So shut your mouth I up. I will not shut up, Ikiri. I will not shut up. Uh -uh. Okay, fine. He is your king and he has a lot of power. Why didn't you do what he asked you to do? 
you have complained to me that he asked you to carry the cups. Why didn't you carry it? Woman, you still want to stay here? You still want to live here? This is not what you are saying. Eh? You need a mother's job for so too much. I'm not going to be affected in this house. I'm not going to be affected. Igwe, where is he now? Well, uh, I've sent him out of the land. Eh? Uh, anyway, I summoned this meeting so we can deliberate on his brother's cups. Igwe, his brother's cups. Oh, yes. His brother was infected and he died instantly. Hey! Hey, Igwe, huh? which means the disease is contagious. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Hey. His brother died just by touching him. Hey. Very, very contagious. But what could that be? Because uh, that question is not necessary now. Uh. Igwe Biko, what are you suggesting we should do? That's exactly why I called this meeting. I suggest we set his corpse ablaze. Eh? Set the corpse ablaze? Yes. Hey, Igwe. Are you in support of that? If it is a general consensus, we carry it out. Ah. What? 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 Eh? Help me. Help me, young lady. Who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Uturu. I'm from Umudin. I have been banished. Please, help me. I need water. Do you mean you have been banished? Yes. By who? I have been banished. <laughs> By my Igwe, please help me. I need water. I need water. I'm thirsty. But I'm not here with water. You can go outside there and look for water, please. I need water. Please help me. Help me, young lady. Okay. Okay, let me go and get water for you. I'll be right back. Thank you. Just wait for me here. My daughters, please, I want you to help me to advise her mama. She wants to kill herself. Kill herself? <laughs> What happened? Amima wants to embrace the dangerous cause of Ebido. That everyone in this land is scared of. Amima, what Mama is saying, is it true? Amima, talk to us. We are your friends. Please. We don't want anything to happen to you. Please. We have decided that the corpse should be burned. But Igwe, how do we handle it? Hey, you asking me? Just gather firewood together and burn him. Don't get close. Inform Ikri about this immediately. Igwe, 
how do you see what I say? Yeah, that's the best option I'm available to us. Young girl, who are you? I greet you, Ibe. I am Ega Makanwako from Achina. The eye of the gods of Achina clan. My mother was the Anyao from the very deity of Okama in Achina land. I greet you again. Gods, allow her. Your Majesty, I saw a man from this land in the bush, and he is seriously thirsty. How does he look? Your Majesty, he has some bruises all over his body. And he said he is thirsty? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. Hold on, we'll get back to you. Save our people. Save our people? Yes. How? By killing that man. So he will not infect others. How? We have to poison that water. That's the only way to remedy our people without raising any alarm. The young woman said she's the eye of the gods of Ajina. That means she will know we poisoned the water. Any eye of the gods from this age in Ajina has not started seeing things like this until she gives bed at a particular age. She is just a child that wants to help. She can never see it unless the God stops it. So leave that one for me. Great idea, Ibe. Great idea. You have no support. Ami, Ami, what you are saying is the truth. That corpse is very, very dangerous. Please stay clear from it. And we are your friends. Eh? We don't want anything to happen to you. Please, talk to us. I don't want you to die. From what I heard, the Igwe and the elders have ordered the security to go and set that corpse ablaze. Yes. Where are you going? Don't follow me. Let's go. Let's go. Go back. Why? Where are you going to? That's not to me. Please, just let me be. Ami, are you okay? We can't go back without you. Just go back. I'll be back. What is wrong with my dear? What is she up to? My dear, this is the only man who is. Let's follow her. Let's yeah. No, stop. Drop it on the ground. I can't help myself. Why? You can be affected, please. Keep it on the ground. Don't drink it. Who are you? I am Ega Makanwako from Achina. Where did you get this water from? From the palace. From the palace. Yes. I understand that you meant good. But they gave you something else. Which you did not see. But don't worry. Soon you will start saying things. Please, who are you? I am Amima. 
You are a great person. But your greatness will soon emerge. Please, just leave. No, 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 stop. Don't come close to me, please. You will be infected. No, don't touch me. Please. You will die. Eh? Do not worry about my identity. Time will tell. But please, do not accept anything from anybody. But, I'm thirsty. I need water. Don't worry. I'll get you water shortly. taking the water. No, Your Majesty. A girl appeared from nowhere and stopped me from giving him the water. She said the water is poisonous. And who was the girl? I don't know, Your Majesty. She called her name but I've forgotten. Please, Your Majesty. Save that young man, please. Alright, I, I will help him. Hmm? I will send my guards to go with you to find out who the girl is. Gods! Gods! <laughs> nah, I'm afraid of burning that corpse. Who oh, I'm afraid. Why? I have not experienced such calamity all my life. Okay, you are right. This is a dangerous mission. And we might be affected. I remembered my wife warned me about this. That corpse doesn't look like it's going to decay anytime soon. This mission is going to be very dangerous for us. Also decay, dangerous or no dangerous. The Igwe has spoken. Count me off. Count me out. He would have sent his guards, not us. Ikidi, you are our leader. You should be the one. Um, 
I suggest we burn the corpse instead of burying it. Then cut me out. Since you have decided to go and burn the corpse, I have no issue with it. You may go and burn it or anything you want. The machine you could not look. Okay, they come here. Have mother. Okay, I say come here. You may put them look that. What is wrong with this, Ekene? It. I brought you water and I still got your food. But how were you able to touch me and still alive? I don't know either. But after touching you, I'm still breathing and living. I'm confused. Do not be confused. Just eat. You saw someone feeding him. Yes, Your Highness. Is he a human or a spirit? Igwe, she is from this village. This village. And who could she be? Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Your Highness. Who should be? What is she? Igwe, Iki, Iki is dead. Iki is dead. <laughs> That it is what? <laughs> we were about to burn the court. Suddenly, he could have fell down and died. <laughs> What has just happened now? What is it, Ekene? What is it? He clearly, your husband is dead. <laughs> is this a joke or what? His corpse is lying there. Hey! Who's your DK? Just inform me now. What? Hey! Problem. Uh, Igwe, what happened? My guards reported to me 
that they saw a girl feeding Uturu in the bush. And the head of security was sent to set Ebido's cops on fire, died on the spot. Igwe, what could have led to the death of the head security? He died while carrying out our orders mm. to set Ebido's cops on fire. Igwe, this is serious. Mm. serious. We have to do something about it. Exactly. Are you sure that girl is not the cause of this calamity? From what I heard, she is from this village. That means we have to be very careful. Igwe, uh, I would suggest that we first of all find out the particular house this girl is from before we do our next line of action. I, 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 I go with you. I support what you're saying. I agree with you. Mm. Come and take care of his family. He will come and take care of his family. Have you seen the Igwe? What for? What for? Oh, that money paid him. Will you revive my husband for me? I think you still need to see him. Didn't you know that Ikiri has a wife? Did you know that Ikiri has a family? I saw this coming. I saw it coming. Ikiri will not just listen. Where do I start from? It's okay. That's my age. I'm already a widow. It's okay. Where do I start from Ikiri? It's okay. Our eyes have seen our ears. Hey! What is it? It is about that little girl you are talking about. What about her? We saw the girl commanding the cops and it stood and walked. How? Igwe, we ran as fast as our leg could carry us. Ha! We could not stand it. Did you recognize who the girl was? Igwe, I know the girl. I know her. Oh, then. Yeah, since you know her, uh, you lead my guards to the house so that we'll arrest her. Exactly. No, Igwe, thank someone else, not me. Ah, 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 Osu. You say you know the girl's house. So you have to take us to her house. Don't be afraid. Don't be a coward. Eluago, don't worry. Just don't worry. I will direct it to the place. Igwe say you will lead. 
the guys will go to there. Try to understand me. The the way where is the way the way to their place. You just go like this. You go like this. Go like this. Very close to your house. You leave them and go there. You will go. Not me. You. Are you afraid of the girl? You. Come on, girl. You are afraid of the girl. You are afraid of the small girl like that. Where did you go to? I went out. To where? Somewhere. With your friends? No, I was alone. Now listen to me. You will not enter this house if you don't tell me where you are coming from. Mama, please just let me be. I should let you be. You must obey my orders. And if you cannot obey my orders, this house will not contain you and I. Do you hear me? Come back here, I'm talking to you. Anima! Anima! Nene, uh, take heart. Uh, I know what you might. You must be going through. The deed has been done. On behalf of myself and this kingdom, we offer our heartfelt condolences to you. My joy is gone. Who take care of his family? Mm. I am carrying our first child. Mm -hmm. Who take care of this child, Igwe? Your husband died a hero and will bury him as one. Uh, the community will see what to do to assist you. Ibe, you've not said what I want to hear. You sent my husband to go and die, leaving his young wife and his unborn child. And you're telling me the community will see to that. Give one community. You are one of us. And your urban child is our child. The community will see what we can do to assist you. You could please tell me something. Like what? Woman. I can see you have a stubborn spirit. Is that why you talk to a king in your kingdom? I told you that the community will see what we can do to assist you. That I will discuss with my cabinet and will find a way to, to assist you. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 my council will deliberate on it and get back to you. You can leave my palace. I said leave my palace. Where you talk to a king in your own village. Next time, don't run your mouth before a king. Eh? You should not be rude. Don't you know that every power is in his hands? <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning you should shape your mouth when speaking to elders. Eh? Especially the king. Okay, if I was not there with you, don't you know he would have ordered his guards to throw you out? Pa! He will not dare. Eh? I came from the family of warriors. My brothers will come to this community and turn here into a war zone. <laughs> Listen, have you forgotten who my father is? He will not try it. It's like you've forgotten Ikiri, your husband is dead. Yes, he's dead. And your king killed him. Listen, let me wait for him and his elders, as he said. If I don't hear from them, they will hear from me. Kaipu now, if it's your husband that dies in this manner, you will act like him. You will kill my husband and tell me not to talk. Okay, sir? Let I pass. Where is your daughter? Um, she went out. It's alright. 
Whenever she comes back, tell her if we want to see her at the palace immediately. Is there anything the matter? Nothing the matter. Just give her the message. Of Greetings, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Um, Mama, I want to take it to your son, Oturu. Hey! Oturu, my son, is he alive? Yes, Mama, he is. If you want, I can take you there now. You have to be very careful. Ikiri is dead because he obeyed the Igwe. Please, Nai, don't be a victim. Um, <clears throat> I'm a man. I know how to involve myself in this kind of issue. Yes. Nai, I heard a certain girl is feeding him in the bush. <sighs> that girl is evil. She must know about the cause of this problem. But what is he doing about the girl? Well, I don't know yet. Oh. <laughs> Igwe, we only saw her mother. We did not see her. And where did her mother say she went to? Ah. Igwe, I don't know because I did not ask. Ah, you should have brought the mother here for questioning. Ah. Igwe, you only ask us to come with the girl, not her mother. She a ago. You are an elder. You should have used your sixth sense. You mustn't tell me anything. Uh, it's alright, Igwe. It's not too late. I, I can go back and get her if, you, if that's what you want. Yeah, you better do. Okay, Igwe. Let me go and touch you with Ma my son. Mama, stop. <laughs> you know you can't touch him. <laughs> touch him, you'll be infected. <laughs> Just come here. <laughs> what am I living for? What am I living for? <laughs> My son Ebido is dead. Here is Uturu. <laughs> I want to die. Oh my God, I want to die. I can't bear this anymore. I want to die. <laughs> You go watch you at the palace. But Ichi Eluago, first it was my daughter. Now me, what have we done wrong? You have done nothing. Just follow us to the palace. Ichi, sorry, I can't follow you to the palace. Ah, what did you just say? You cannot follow us to the palace to see the way. We have done nothing wrong. God! Take her along. Come on. 
Where you are? Mama, what is this? Let me be. Igwe want you and your mother at the palace. Me and my mother? Yes. My daughter do not mind them. Don't mind them. You are the one they are looking for. But because they didn't see you, they decided to take me away. Then it's fine. You can let my mother go. I'll go with you. No. I'll go. Mama, please just go back home. I'll be back. Let's go. Okay. Uh, God, let her go. Take her instead. Take her. Don't push me. I'll walk. Eluagu went to Chiako's house, but did not meet that evil girl. But I ordered him to come with the mother to the palace. Igwe, he did well. When she comes back home and did not see her mother, she will be forced to come here. She can't stay with the other mother. Both of them are partners in crime. Uh, 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 yeah. Igwe, uh, you and Zedike should take some tubers of yam and money to Ikiri's wife. She was here a while ago, lamenting. That's thoughtful of you, King. Mm, uh, it has to be this evening, please. It's okay. Let me go and inform We need to find a solution to our problems. Two dead bodies. Two are lying on our road and cannot be buried. Though they are not smelling, but it is an eyesore each year. Tomorrow now, Igwe might still send one of us to go and die as Ikiri. Hey. Or if I be. What do you want us to do? Ichie, we need to see a powerful seer or a very strong Bibia. If I can cut Mm. Um, I suggest two of you to go to the palace and inform Igwe about ha, it. Ichie, forget about Igwe. You are aware that our Igwe is weak. At times he is confused. Ichie, sorry for saying it too, but our Igwe is weak. You and I know it. Uh, what has he done wrong this time? Ichie, Ichie. Igwe knows how dangerous this mission is. And still sent us. Now Nikiri is gone. And still there's no plan, no remedy, no solution. There's no plan of looking for a way to remedy this situation. Eh? Uh, you don't have to blame him. <laughs> he never knew that this could occur. Well, anyway, when I get to the palace, I will inform him. Oh, you better do. Ichie, you better do before things will get out of hand. Ichie, you can more people. My daughter, can you tell me all you know about the calamity that has befallen my people? I know nothing, Your Highness. But I suggest you bring back that young man to the village. And who may that be if I may ask? The young man lying in the bush, suffering. Impossible. Uturu can never set his foot on this land anymore. Yes. yes. Now, let me warn you. If you don't open up to me now, I will order my guards to teach you a lesson you will never forget in your life. Then go on. Eh? You dare our Igwe? Hey, look at this monkey. Guards! We take her and lock her. <laughs> take her away from here, Igwe. Don't push me. Take her out! I'll tell you. 
Look at look at this 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 small girl. Hey, Igwe asked us to give you these items. Okay. Oh, thanks to him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where is my husband? Not to worry. We are planning to put an end to this deadly disease. Thereafter, the burial will commence shortly. Okay. I suggest you take these gifts back to Yubei. I want to see my husband's corpse buried before any other thing. No, no, no. You can keep the gift. We are trying to put an end. Do I look like I'm joking? Take this out of here before I change my mind. I, I, why you? Why you? Take, hey! take this out of this place! Please. Please. That girl is evil and heartless. I will not release her until she confesses the truth. Um, anyway. How sure are you that she is the cause of this calamity? I have my proof. How, Igwe? First, people saw her with Uturu. And thereafter, they saw her commanding the two infected corpses to walk. <sighs> Igwe, are you sure of what you are saying? You're asking me? Oh, has it got into this level? You are asking me a question? No, you're... Oh, I think you have overstayed your welcome. Gabs! Igwe. Igwe. Igwe, please. Show her the way out of my house. Please, Igwe. Please have mercy. Oh, yeah. Dala, Biko. Labalawa. Take her out. Biko, Igwe. Bine? Allow me. Allow you. Igwe, please. I beg you. Biko. Gaba. Gabani. No, oh, Igwe, Biko. Gabaga, Gabaga, Gabaga. She is. She must be possessed. She want to bear me in my own kingdom. No, it's not possible. I will show her that I am the supreme ruler of this kingdom, and no one challenges my authority. <laughs> 